Today we're going to be getting real spooky by turning ordinary meatloaf into feetloaf. It's fun, it's easy, so let's get into the lab. First, start by dicing one of your onions uh, pretty fine. It doesn't have to be crazy fine, but a lot finer than you're going to see me do. Then take your other onion and just whack it in half, cutting off the end and the root. Uh, the finer you dice that onion, the easier it is it's going to be to mix into the feet loaf and then to shape the feet later. Oh, also save 10-15 pieces of the diced onion because uh, you're going to do something fun and spooky with them a little bit later. In a big mixing bowl goes your diced onion, two and a half pounds of ground beef, three farm fresh eggs, or as fresh as you can get from the grocery store, salt, pepper, garlic powder, dry mustard powder, cayenne pepper, and one and two thirds cups of breadcrumbs. Panko preferred, but whatever you can get your hands on. Eh, a little bit more, there you go. Follow that up with one third of a cup of milk, eh, a little bit more, but whatever. And then two tablespoons of Worcestershire -shire -shire sauce. And then one third of a cup of parsley. And go ahead and get in there with your mitts and uh, mix it up. Once mixed to your liking, dump it onto a lined baking tray and uh, start forming your feet. Break the sucker in half, kind of get the, the rough shape of some feet there, and then uh, go to town. Kind of flatten them out, build yourself up a little bit of an ankle, and hollow it out with your thumbs. Because remember that onion I told you to whack in half a little earlier? Well, guess where it's going? There you go. Take some of those diced onion pieces that I told you to reserve, add some green food coloring, mix it up, and look at that. You've got yourself some spooky toenails. Now, struggle to cut some toes. Figure out which end of the knife you want to use. It's, uh, again, those fine diced onions are going to help. Uh, try for five and then realize three is going to work a whole lot better. And take your green onions, dyed green onions, and pop them onto the toes to give yourself some spooky looking toenails. And pop this into a 350 degree oven for an hour or until they are thoroughly cooked through. The feet are spooky, food poisoning is utterly terrifying. Pull the feet out of the oven after you have tempted them. Let them cool for a minute and then put them on a plate and dump some ketchup all over that ankle. Look like a little bloody stump. And here it is. Something that can be truly called a graveyard smash. And if you don't want feet loaf, you can just as easily put these in a couple of loaf pans and then cover the top in ketchup and have regular old meatloaf. If you like this video, Go ahead and give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Please give me a follow on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I'm at the bowl is too small on all of them. And head over to thebowlistoosmall.com for some more fun recipes. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Gross toe. Ketchup. <laughs>